Hey guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'm doing a review on the S Note application available on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 which I have over here and also some of the other Galaxy Note devices out there on the market. Now, when you first open up the application, you're taken to this screen. Now, because I do have it in landscape mode, we're gonna get a toolbar over here on the left side that shows us all the folders that we have within the app and on the right side is the contents of the folder that's currently selected. So for example, if I were to switch over to a different folder, you're gonna see different content within it. Now, these are just pre-installed ones that Samsung put on, uh, pretty much just to give you an idea as far as you know what you could do with this Note application. So for example, under the business folder, I could tap on something like financial information and it would just give me a quick example of you know what I could do with this application, you know, giving you just kind of ideas as far as how you could use this application to your advantage. Um, something that is useful though is uh, these two little uh, notes right over here, which is productivity tooltips, which basically shows you how to use uh, this application to your advantage. So it's a quick you know guide as far as you know what you could do. Of course, I'm gonna be doing that in this video as well, so you won't necessarily need that some S note tips and tricks basically, just to give you a better idea as far as if, if you forget on how to use something. So anyway, let's go ahead and go right into it. First thing you need to do to open up a new note, of course, is press this plus icon here at the top. You're just gonna tap on this guy and you have uh, to select between these templates over here. You can do a regular note, an idea note, meeting note, magazine, etc. cetera. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna be going over the notes and idea notes because the other ones are kind of similar and uh, you know, pretty much you get the point with uh, the first two. So I'm just gonna tap on note and you can see I'm taken to this screen which basically I have a blank notepad. Now, if I wanted to scroll up and down, all I have to do is tap on this top left over here which takes me out of edit mode to view mode. View mode. So I could view my notepad. If I wanna bring that toolbar back up, I tap this arrow. I'm gonna hit edit mode again. I get my toolbar. And for my toolbar, I have different options. For example, right now I'm on the handwriting mode. I could write whatever I want. If I tap on this guy, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of options to change the thickness of my uh, stroke with my pen. I could change what kind of you know pen it would be. For example, I could go from a pen to a, a paintbrush to, uh, I don't even know what that is, um, a pencil. Anyway, you guys get the idea. I could change the colors to whatever color I want. And of course, like I said, I can make it thicker or thinner. And you know, let's say I wanted that, hit X and there you go. So that's that, you have an undo and forward button. So I'm just gonna go ahead and undo those two little strokes that I did. Now, what's really cool is you also have this little formula bar or formula toolbar uh, option. So you see there's a little graph over here. Can't really do anything with it yet. If you tap it again, you have an option. You can do formula match, you can do shape match, and you can do handwriting to text. Now, I'm gonna do formula match first because it does show up first. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. So you can see over here, I have just a little chart now what's cool with this, say for example, you wanna do an algebra problem or if you need help with your homework or whatever you're using it for, uh, which I had this you know, when I was in school. Um, for example, if I did, you know, oh, it might not work with this uh, thick stroke. Let's go ahead and try to make this a little thinner and let's go black and we'll use a pencil. All right, let's go right back to it. So say for example, I had a homework problem. Uh, it was x squared plus 25x minus 43 equals, I don't know, let's say 21. Um, you would you know, have to solve that, and obviously if you're doing it for homework, you wanna do it yourself, but what's cool is you can do, use the search button, and it'll actually go into dual window mode, which is something that you know is on the Galaxy Note 10.1, which basically allows you to use one application on the left side of the screen, one application on the right, or if you go in portrait mode, it's, it's a top and bottom, and obviously it's because this device is so powerful with its Echinos processor and whatnot, it's able to do it. So anyway, we actually get the answer. So this is the input, right? That's what I put in. And then you actually get the graph, you get the alternate forms of writing it, and you get the solutions for X. Um, honestly, really awesome. I, like I said, I really wish I had this. Um, definitely a great tool if you're, you know, if you're in school, whether you're in high school or college and you want help or want to be able to do your work on a tablet, I mean, nothing's really going to beat that. So if you want to get out of dual window mode, you're just going to tap this X. Now, for example, let's say I wanted this, on the, because I'm right-handed, I want this on the right side and this on the left side. I could actually tap this button right over here and hit switch windows. So it flip-flops them, puts the work on the left, and I could continue doing my work here on the right. So that uh, gives you a quick idea as far as how that works. I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you the next one, which is shape match. So let's do a shape, for example. So let's say I wanted to draw a triangle. 
that's a pretty bad triangle, but you can see it kind of fixes it up for me. Now, if I wanted to make, you know, a better one, I could probably do it like that. Let's say I made a circle and, you know, it falls. So it kind of makes your shapes a little bit, you know, better looking. I'm going to try to change my pencil settings here. I'm just going to go to the pen because it seems a little bit better. Now, there's an erase function right over here. I'm going to go ahead and erase out of here. And uh, one more time, I'll demonstrate a square because I'm horrible at drawing squares. But thankfully for this app, it's, whoops, I have to go into shape mode. All right, try that again. Let's do a square. And you can see it makes it perfect. Well, that's a rectangle, but you guys get the idea. I can do a circle. It's gonna make a perfect circle for me, no matter how big or how small I wanna make it. So really cool, a bunch of shapes work. You know, I could do a star, and it's just gonna make the edges, you know, pointy in straight lines. So for example, if I draw a line like this, or actually, let's do a straight line. You can see it makes it perfectly straight. So I could literally draw a rectangle one by one like that, and it's gonna look perfect. Last thing is handwriting to text. Uh, pretty simple, let's say I write, you know, my name. So let's write David. I don't even know if it's gonna get that. There you go, yeah, I did. So David pretty much translates my handwriting to actual typing, which is pretty cool if you prefer to write instead of type. So we'll go ahead and uh, get out of there. When you tap the text button, this is where you could actually type if you wanted to type instead of using handwriting. And of course, the erase function I already showed you, you could erase everything. Uh, on the right side, other than the back and forward buttons, you have an option to input a uh, some kind of picture. For example, you could take a picture with your camera, you could scroll through your own images in your gallery, you go to clipboard, which is what you copy and pasted, uh, maps, clip art, uh, text box, and shape. All right, so let's just tap on clip art and see what they have. And when I tap on this guy, you could see I have a whole bunch of little uh, artwork that I could choose from. So I could choose, you know, a little camera, a little pencil, Whatever it is, kind of like it is on you know Microsoft Word. So pretty much, you know, that's really what they're aiming to do. Uh, I could also record a memo if I wanted. And lastly, probably my favorite function on here, especially because it's a big tablet, um, and you, if you really want to use you know the S Pen, there's this option right over here, which you can see I had it enabled by the fact that it was highlighted in the blue. What this does is it basically stands for S S Pen only. So when it's on, only the S Pen will actually work. So for example, right now I go like that with the S Pen, it works. I go like that with my finger, it works. Problem is, you know, sometimes I'm trying to write something and my pinky will start to write, you know, cause I'm using, I, I place my uh, fist or my other side of my hand on the screen and it kind of messes me up. And I was actually having trouble with it before I even knew this existed. Then I tap this guy. Now I could write all I want with my finger and it's not going to do anything. So that way only the S Pen recognizes uh, your input. And you know, honestly it works a lot better just like a paper, you know, your, your hand isn't going to write down anything on a piece of paper. This really makes it feel like you have a piece of paper in your tablet. So. Definitely really cool functionality. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here now, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the other template that I said I was gonna talk about, which is the idea note. Now, for the most part, this is similar. I mean, you have the same tools over here uh, as you did as far as the toolbar goes, but the one major difference is you actually have an option to record a sketching. So for example, if I tap on this, and you can see now it's flashing, it's recording, I could actually write. So I'll write, you know, phone, buff rocks okay so to actually view uh, the sketch that I just made all I had to do is hit this play button so you have to go into view mode like I said so right now I'm in edit mode I'm gonna be uh, you know writing whatever I want on the screen but when I tap on this the input's not actually gonna work it's just gonna scroll up and down like I showed you earlier but on the toolbar you can see I have an option to hit play so I'm just gonna hit play and you can see it pretty much recorded everything I wrote as I was writing so it's a cool way to uh, you know look at you know what your work and how you did it so I don't know just a cool little idea uh, that Samsung included with their software I don't know how useful it'll be for some people but I thought it was pretty cool so I'll go ahead and delete that uh, we'll go ahead and back out of here and uh, yeah that's pretty much it on the S Note application I mean so far you know I've really really enjoyed it you know I used it on the Galaxy Note and uh, I don't even know if they call it S Note I think they call it something else I'm not sure but anyway it's a lot better now and uh, you know, you have a whole bunch of options. Of course, you could import, you know, other notes. You could share them. Uh, you could move them. You could go into settings and adjust some of the things on here. For example, if you want S Pen on, audio or auto video tags, you know, all this stuff. So anyway, I'll go ahead and back out of here. And hopefully this gives you a better idea as far as, you know, what the S Note application brings to the table. I'll go ahead and open up uh, a few of these other templates just so you guys can get a quick look at it. So here's the recipe template. And you can see you can add images of you know a recipe you want to make so you just got to tap and hold right over here and then you would take a picture or go to images and you know choose a picture that you want 
to include in your recipe book, for example. So I'll, I only have a screenshot. I'll let's go ahead and enter that as an example and see how it works. And there you go. So it enters in nice and neatly into the template. And I, you know, I could go ahead and start writing my uh, little recipe and then maybe send it to somebody that I want to share it with. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for me in this video. Hopefully this gives you a better day. If you guys have any questions on S note and how it works, just leave, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. But other than that, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.